What is up, you guys? My name is Tracy, and welcome back. Um, I just want to give you guys a heads up. My voice is not good. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting sick or what, but my voice doesn't sound great, so just be prepared for that. So um, today, again, we are having a conversation about Adriel Sigler. Um, as I've said before, I am in the process of doing a long form edited video about her that deep dives into a lot of different areas that have been problematic and even controversial at times. Um, being her, you know, scamming ways, the con artist uh, vibe that she gives off, as well as the exploitation of her children, as well as uh, doxing and abusing other children via her platform. There's a lot of different areas that this woman uh, is a huge problem for. And one of those, and I think one of the most important areas, is not only her scamming and violating children in the way she has with her son's, you know, incident and things going on there, uh, but it's the behaviors that portray possible um, I don't, brooming. We're going to say brooming. Let's switch out the B with the G and you'll understand what I'm saying. She has said that I believe she was a teacher's aide at one point in time. And I've seen things where uh, people have commented that possibly there there's rumors going around about why she was let go from being a teacher's aide or fired or whatever it was. That's something I'm looking into and trying to find out more information on. But um, the problem I have is with the things that she shows in her TikToks, the way she acts in her TikToks, and knowing that a large majority of her audience even though they may say is a profile, they're a woman in their thirties. We all know that children use uh, adult accounts in order to be able to watch content that they shouldn't be watching. I would say that the vast majority of her audience are minors. And I have a couple clips. I want to show you all that really really bother me on a level that I can't even, I, I, I literally cannot go into. And I'm sorry, people are so jealous of me, but I can't help it that I'm a celebrity. So click the pink circle. Tutorial for moms, how to stick out your yacht. Yacht means butt. Get proper form, 360, posture, pull up your shirt, arch your back, go like this, and now you have successfully sticked out your yacht. It gives teenage girl while being an adult figure of, in a position of authority. Um, the language that she uses is that of children. Um, I asked my teenage son because I watched several of her videos where she's singing songs and talking a certain way with these words that I've never heard in my life. Out my yacht for the Rizzler. So skibbity, so phantom tax. I just wanna be your Sigma. <laughs> Hi, I'm live. My name's Adrielle. I'm the vegan Rizzler of TikTok Live. I'm the green up and up TikTok Live match. Try and battle me. You're gonna lose in a 1v1 or 2v2s. I'm here to play. I've got all day. Click the pink circle and tap away. <laughs> Never heard these words. My teenage son said that they don't even use these words in high school. And he's just going into high school. And these are used among children like middle school and elementary school age. Then you go on to see her not only using the language, but then dressing as a schoolgirl. I would say more of a generic Britney Spears wannabe, but nevertheless, it's a schoolgirl type outfit while saying that 
she's in detention and to go watch her live and we know who is watching these things pm click the pink circle i'm going live in detention i don't care what my teacher says detention lasts for 30 minutes it's just not fair i didn't do anything wrong first i fell asleep in class okay it was boring spanish sucks then i go to detention and this teacher just wants me there every day i swear to god he told me no cell phones in detention. I forgot to put my phone in silent mode. It went off. I wasn't even using it. So he gave me another detention. And now here I am today. So I guess I'll see you soon. I hope it's not the same teacher as last time. If he's the nice teacher, I'll twirl my hair. If he's the mean teacher, I'll pull my nose. I really hope it's not the mean teacher. I'm so sick of him telling me I have to come back to detention. This is also a registered TikTok live campaign, Road to Superstars. And that's my very first battle in Road to superstars so i appreciate all of you who are supporting me in my journey on tiktok live i can't wait to see you soon thank you for everyone who's registered tap the pink circle i'm going live and i have a real problem with that and the other problem i have with that is that tiktok is not doing anything about it tiktok has very strict guidelines about um it, certain clothing and what can be shown and what not can be shown. you know what i mean things like that but yet this woman is in this, the battle um, road to whatever it is. I don't follow it. I don't know anything about it because I am not to the point where I'm able to live stream or do any battling. So I don't know what all of that is. It's something else I'm working to learn more about. But I've noticed a pattern with TikTok and certain large creators who get away with so much more because they are large creators. TikTok doesn't put up with that stuff with smaller creators, but these large creators are doing things that go and violate terms of service. And the most that people get when they're reporting this is, oh, uh, well, they won't be put on the For You page. They're not removed. They're not banned. None of that. Why is that? Why are they allowing a creator like Adriel Sigler, who's making very blatant uh, sexual innuendos and things while dressed as a schoolgirl, pretending to be a schoolgirl, talking like a child during live battles. Oh, stop. You're yapping. I'm tired. My voice, you hear my voice? I'm tired. You have full of energy at 3 a.m. Shut me up. If I was there right now, you know what I would do? No. Nothing. Then I'll, you, keep, you, I'll keep yapping. Because you'd call the police even if I did nothing. <laughs> Wait, why? You're left to lie to the police and get innocent men in trouble. Oh, here we go. It's your specialty, isn't it? Bullshit. That's what comes out of your ass. I hope one of them starts following you around and see what happens to you. How you Enough, like enough, enough. I've had stalkers before. I punish, I punish them. How to be a vegan Rizzler. And first you have to be vegan. And what's a Rizzler? A person who can pull. What does it mean to pull? Um, well, if you're female, you get all the guys, if you're into guys. Anyway, to be a vegan Rizzler, first you have to be vegan, which means you eliminate all animal products from your life, and now you're vegan. And vegans taste better, making it easy to be the Rizzler. Next, how to be a Rizzler. First, you have to do this. You have to mew, blow a kiss. Next, you have to like never be available. And then when you're available, be super engaged. When I get on top, I ride. I'm a homie hopper till I die. Bring your best friend or five. Cause I just wanna uh, then slide. Hi, my name's Adrielle. I'm chugging a vegan brown sugar. I have glass and have to buy. I have detention at 9 p.m. Glass and have to buy with God watching. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas. Certified buggy man, I'm the one that up the score with them. I'm live, and everyone keeps telling me, put on some clothes. I'm wearing one, two, three, four, five articles of- Why is that okay? I think it's, it, it well, never mind that, but she contradicts herself left and right. I, I swear it was a, two days before she was talking about how she's so self-conscious and she's gained weight and doesn't want to show her body and all these things. But then two days later, never mind the day and a half in between what she was showing. But then two days later, she's looks half naked while wearing clothing. I've been struggling with body image. 
percentage. I've gained weight. I've gained 10 to 12 pounds. And I don't even like looking at myself, which means I like force myself to go live. But I am just like insecure the whole time because of my weight. And I have detention at 9 p.m. Click the pink circle. I'm going live. Where's not the Bible of God watching? Sometimes you gotta pop. I'm live. And everyone keeps telling me, put on some clothes. If you want to look like me, buy this mirror, click the- We can go gat for gat! No, fuck that. We can go raise for raise. I'm sorry that people are so jealous of me. Hey! It's 7 p.m. Brad Jones. It's 95 to- My left stroke just went viral! But twice in one night on TikTok Live, I am going to be taking a break from my nighttime live streams. I'll still be hanging out with all of you in the daytime and stream for about two hours in the daytime. We are live playing Mad Libs. Click the pink- to battle on TikTok for one hour. Drop a gift in the video comments if you want to see me go live tonight. I am trying to pump gas. Look at the How to order vegan at Olive Garden. Surprise! What we order at Olive Garden. We are playing the game Speak Out. In that we are live playing this new Uno game. It's called I have decided that instead of quitting what I'm good at, I'm going to go live tonight and continue doing what I'm good at. To a bunch of underage kids because that's i'm sure what's watching her and it's obvious like when you read some of the comments you can tell that they are children and they want to help her they want to give her donations and stuff but they're children and i have a real problem with this it is sickening to see it's disgusting to watch and to add that to the fact that she exploits an incident with her son who is now allegedly being charged with I, i'm that's something else i'm currently working on and looking into and trying to get paperwork for um but you know allegedly sexually assaulting girls younger or for four other girls uh i believe his age um she exploits that for money. Everything she does online is for money. But then you'll see her go online and talk about how she can't stand that her children are taking away from her time on TikTok. Go to my room, I come back in there. I go back to my room, I come back in there. I'll be cleaning, and they just don't stop. I don't want to get them to stop. It's terrible. And they want this, this, this. This attraction, this restaurant, this. They want all these fucking things that cost money, but then when it's time for me to work and earn own income, they don't respect it. Like, what time is it? It's been live for an hour and 40 minutes. I've made $215. So for those of you who say I don't earn an income, I've made $215 in an hour and 40 minutes. So suck on that. Next, um, I'm going to reset. three rooms away so if you were actually able to hear me it's like ridiculous but okay I, I think I made it you could hear me talking how could you hear me talking <laughs> well that's what I'm going through right now how could you hear me I was literally three rooms over and my music is on <sighs> oh well I was just explaining that we have to make our presence known I asked her if I ever jump scared you she said no and I said but that's because it's part of growing maturing verbal open communication just Make it known. Ugh. It's, it's gotta stop. It's gotta stop. She is on TikTok 24-7. And I get wanting to build a platform. I want to build a platform too. That is why I do this. Because I want to build a platform, obviously. I'm working to do that. But I am not doing it by exposing myself to children and wanting underage children to watch my content. I'm not going to sit here and talk like middle school and elementary kids to get views, likes, and donations, and gifts. 
a very real job. Look at what I post, yeah, and I make like $300 per video. You know what I mean? If you if you could make a post, say, sticking out my gut for the Rizzler, and it's guaranteed that you're gonna have at least $500, pretty sure you'd do it. I'm pretty sure you'd do it, because it's pretty fucking funny. And it's Gina, literally. Nobody laughed? Well, I sure the fuck did. I sure the fuck do every time I get my paycheck, too. I think of all these broke people taking their inferiority complexes out on me. I think it is disgusting. And if TikTok does not do something about it, then I think it's very clear what their motive is. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all know what TikTok's in this for, clearly. But to let children get manipulated and have to... It's sick. It is so sick to me. And anyone who supports her, the one point whatever million subscribers she has on TikTok and Instagram, that's a whole nother story um, that I will get to eventually. But the one point whatever million followers she has on this platform here, or if I'm this is on another platform on TikTok, those people who follow her that are not children, I have to question your morals and your ability to think when you watch her because when you watch her, it's, I mean, I don't know how anybody follows and watches her. I just don't, I don't, not as an adult with children, mind you, teenage children. It is very hard to be a mother and make content like this. So when I see her, mine are teenagers. I have teenage children and one that's an adult out of the house. I have to wonder where her priorities are. They're clearly not her children. But I have a real issue with this. Now, I have a very big problem with that because it is... The way that it feels to me is manipulative and very sick and twisted um, way of gaining followers and views and things like that and it's it's actually really concerns me for her own children and I don't know you know this whole thing that's gone on with her son I have a 14 year old son and a 15 year old daughter and watching her 14 year old son go through all of this stuff now I am not I want, this is like a disclaimer right now. I am not in any way, shape, or form making excuses or justifying any type of anything that he could do. As far as the essay allegations go, um, I am not denying that. That is absolutely not a denial. I'm actually working on trying to find out what I'm able to about that situation and other situations that I've learned about this is not that in any way shape or form it is simply just my opinion about other things because I have a 14 year old son that actually reminds me so much of her son when I see her son it's it's reminiscent of her, my son they look very much kind of they have the same hair color and style um, well, he did his curly hair. My son has the same curly hair that hangs in his face. They're like built the same height, likewise, same age. They talk similar. And it's just this, I guess, a, like a, a connection of he reminds me of my child. And I actually have some recordings I want you all to hear from my children I don't show my children online and they've never done something like this before, but I thought for this situation in particular, it would be useful as um, so just something people can hear from children her son's age. And <clears throat> I'm going to play that here in a moment, but I do want to say that I feel like her children would be very much embarrassed of their mother doing the things that she does. I can't imagine being a 14, 12, 9-year-old children having my mother dressed 
in a schoolgirl uniform. I actually asked that. I showed my son some of the videos of hers and said, how would you feel if that were your mom? So you'll get to hear those answers in a moment. But I am, my concern is that Adriel does not care for the, the mental well, health and well-being of her children. And I, I think this because I'm watching her add her children into these videos on a channel where she'll be doing some extremely disgusting things in a manner that attracts young children. Um, you'll hear more about how young the children are that are speaking in the way that she does. I'm concerned that her son is acting out, that her son, her, the kids at school probably see the things that his mom does online, and he's, he's, I can imagine that he would act out because of that, and I hope that whatever happens with the allegations against him, I hope that she seeks help for him because I wonder if those actions of his, if they are true, are stemming from the things his mom is doing and things that we probably don't know anything about that he knows about and experiences with his mom. I can imagine that would be extremely difficult to be a 14-year-old boy having your mom act the way she does online and then act the way she does in public in front of him, in front of kids his age that know him. I have a feeling that he has an extreme amount of pressure and bullying from kids his own age. And the daughters are probably going to be there too soon, if not now. And I'm very concerned that these allegations and things are actions that are stemming from whatever he lives through with his mother. And I really pray that she's, she sees this situation instead of coming online and blaming everybody for rumors and making up false things, especially when there's been charges and things like that filed. Quit denying it and get your child the help they need. And if TikTok is not seeing what's going on here and isn't going to force her ass off of the platform, somebody needs to. And I don't know if that child's father is in his life, but I sure as hell hope that a grandmother or an aunt, somebody steps in and says, I am taking control here. Because there are rumors that the grandmother has custody. I don't know that for a fact. But I really hope somebody steps in and says, listen, I'm taking control of this situation. And I'm getting the boy the help he needs because of your actions. I'm sure she won't care because it's obvious as much as she wants to say that her children are her life, it's very clear that that's not the case. And I think anybody who can see with two eyes and hear with two ears can see that that's not the situation and that this is all a money grab for her. Her children are a way for her to live that high life that she didn't get to on her own without using children. As her stepping stool and that's all I'm gonna say about it for now uh, like I said there's way more coming on this topic and it's something I am very invested in and working really hard to get the information out to as many people as I possibly can so if you are watching this I ask that you please share it out let people know that there is this person doing these things and keep an eye out for what is to come about her that I'm working on. And I'm very sorry about the way I sound. I have COVID and I'm just trying so hard to get this video out that I didn't think people would care so much about how bad my voice sounds. But 
I really hear how bad it is. And I hope that um, that is okay. But I am going to move this into the um, recordings I have with my children so that you all can hear from children his age what that situation is from a boy's perspective and also from a 15 year old girl what her talking is all about the way she talks the the lingo she used what that's all about so um i appreciate you all for coming um stick around make sure you hit the follow and share it out and all the things and um i'll see you guys very soon and uh yeah Let's roll it out with this one. Bye, guys. Do you have you ever heard the the like? Well, I guess it's like lingo or slang. I guess I would call it like people saying "rizzler" and um, sticking out your gat. Yeah. Do you guys talk like that, or is that like something? It's mostly the new generation, like the younger kids. I, yeah. I do. Well, well they, I'm sure you do, but, like, because you guys mess around not, with it. Not seriously. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you guys are just joking around. But that's more of, like, what, elementary kids and maybe, like, younger middle school kids? Yeah. That's what I wanted to ask. Do You, you don't hear any kids your age saying stuff like that? Not unironically. No. Okay. That's just what I wanted to find out. <laughs> Here, if you heard an adult say I was talking like that, like, if you heard me talking like that, what would you think? Like, seriously. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you can't even say it. You can't even say it. It's okay, because I was asking, because I'm making a video about this woman that's 33 years old and acts like that on TikTok, and it just has to make me question whether it's because she's targeting young children to watch her videos. Probably. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, that's it. I just need you for that. Thank you. Mom, is this something about that Sigma stuff? <laughs> Hang on. Just I, don't say nothing because I want to ask you a question about it. And it's a specific question, but I... I'm peeing out my jaw for oh, the okay. Hang on. So skibbity, so fit, oh. and attacks. I just want to be your Sigma. I'm live right now if you click the pink circle. And I'm sticking out my yacht for my Rizzler. So skibbity. Okay. How would you feel as a 14-year-old son of that? mine if that was me doing something like that online? You want me to say honest, honestly? Honest answer. How would you feel if this was my channel and these were the... Hold on, I'll show you. I would... Sticking up, sticking, sticking oh, no, out. Oh, <laughs> How? I want to know how you would feel if... Your home. Yeah. If these were the kind of videos you saw me making... <laughs> As a 14 year old kid. This is all one day. Dressed like this. I probably want to run away. But how would, you would be embarrassed of me, I'm sure, right? Yes. Especially if your friends knew yes. that you would be humiliated by how I was acting. Yes. Do any of your friends know what I make that I make content on YouTube besides the ones that have been here? I've I've only told Brayden really that you do YouTube stuff. But are you embarrassed by me? Do I do anything that embarrasses you? Have you no. ever watched any of my videos? No, I don't know your YouTube. Okay, that's all I wanted to ask. Thank you. <laughs> okay, quick little bonus to anybody who's stuck through to the very end. This woman thinks she's a celebrity for real. And she's fucking insane. And Adriel, if you are watching this, because I know you do watch, you know, where people talk about you and things you do, because you use usually like to rage bait people with the things they're talking about. You, honey, are not a celebrity. You're not Kim Kardashian. Not even this much. I promise you that. You got a long way to go to get to that. But 
hearing what I just played for you, what my children said, we're going to close this out all the way to the end, I promise you now, uh, with a little something that she recently posted. And knowing what you heard from my children, look at this a little differently. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Bye, guys. Well, watch you. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas. Certified boogie man. I'm the one that up the score with him. Walking down whole time. I know he got some hoe in him. Hold on him. Extort shit. What he the flow in him? Hey, Drake. I hear you like I'm young. You better not have go to Fucking up my job for the Rizzler. So skibbity. So phantom tax. I just wanna be your Sigma. Ha 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 ha. Hi. Hi. I'm live. It's almost midnight, and I'm chugging vegan iced coffee because I'm going live. I'm single, trying to find a cute single guy on TikTok live. <sighs> Hold on. If you tap the pink circle and see me live with a guy, if I'm twirling my hair, he's totally fine. He's my type, yeah. If I go like this, he's not my type. Thanks. Hypothetically speaking, if I do have a crush on a co-host, I'm still single. So like, I mean, if I'm your TikTok crush, you should definitely hit me up in the chat. Set a galaxy or something, I might rate your profile pic. And don't forget to send me a message. Hello, but only if you're my type. So yeah, anyway, see you soon.